Hey guys, it's Ninja Mom here, and I am here with a Birdie's Making Sense haul. <sighs> so the live last night was something else. So um, my kiddo was not very good. He was very naughty. So the cakes that I ordered, the plates and the forks, they're gone. He took them. I was only able to salvage <laughs> one of the cute containers. Um, with this order, it came with a super cute Birdies Making Sense pencil, and it is so vibrant, and my eight-year-old already claimed it for school. So, girl, you're going to be getting some advertising done in the elementary school. <laughs> she sent, Bridget sent these absolutely cute little bags. I love it. Last time was Big Cat print, and um, this time I got some Spotty Dotties. And here is her business card. Birdies making sense. Absolutely love her stuff. And then the sweet card that says your purchase made my day. I hope this makes yours. I love these little cards. They're so freaking cool. <laughs> okay, and we got some samples. One of them is Hot Chocolate Count Chocula Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Please, Bridget, can you make some, like, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, like, blends? I would love nothing more than to get a really good Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal wax. Um, the bigger shapes, the better. <laughs> you know, I would love it. These are actually little chocolates. Like, she shows these cute little chocolates for the package. And each one of them... Mm, there's a cute little shape. I don't like to mess them up too much because I actually really do love the way they look. This smells so good. You can tell her cinnamon toast crunch is like going to be the bee's knees for real. Mm, this her chocolate scent. I I don't care. Nobody's chocolate scent can beat hers. It is real as real can be. The hot chocolate and the count chocolate together are so just like delicious real chocolate. And then you get um, that cinnamon toast crunch that is just delicious cinnamon sugar cereal creaminess awesomeness. I'm so happy that I got this. The next one is another one of my birdie melts that I will not end up melting because it's so pretty and so cute that I don't. Y'all are noticing like I'm kind of red and flushed and wearing a tank top and all nine yards and looking like crap. But it's me. Uh, and I'm a mom, and I just don't have the time with all the cleaning and stuff I'm doing right now. But, you guys, it's been hot as the days for here. For three days, we've been up in the 70s, and today it is 77 degrees, so it's a little hot. But this is called Dreams Taste Like Cotton Candy, and it is in what I would call the most favorite shape in the world to me, cotton candy. Peeps and cotton candy. Okay, so peeps are my favorite shapes. This one is so real and authentic that it is a definite second favorite shape. This smells so, so good. It is Fruity Pebbles and Cotton Candy, and it smells delicious. It smells like Fruity Pebbles and um, Cotton Candy. It's super duper good. I won't be able to melt this one <laughs> because I only have one pink one, dang it. <laughs> and I'm loving that. Like, if I could literally get pretty much like 60 of these and just like pinks, blue, yellow, purple, you know, I would never melt them. I would just have them displayed up in my wax area. And then next is cotton candy, cotton candy frosting. And it's Bugs Bunny, you guys. I cannot get over this. Her shapes are just unreal. One, they're, if they're food, they look identical to the food that they are. And she has fun delicious smelling creative little bunnies and friends love it oh delicious sweet sugary cotton candy goodness right here you guys so those were just my samples like that's heavy duty right there heavy duty and they all came like i said in this bag like that okay so let's dive right in 
I did buy two of these, so I'm not going to dig this second one out, but I did buy two of the funnel cakes because I absolutely, okay, I'll pull this second one out. Absolutely love this dreamy, dreamy blend. This is her caramel apple kettle corn. Oh, and it's in these super realistic funnel cakes, powdered sugar to complete them and everything. Oh, and this scent is just rocking good rocking good it is just the most strong pungent delicious <laughs> caramel apple and that kettle corn in there my god this smells like the fair like just chilling at the fair mm. so with all this covid shit i don't know if our fair is going to be open again this year it wasn't last year i'm not going to hold my breath that it'll be open this year so these scents are going to really help me. That's why I've spent a lot of time this spring hunting down lots of fun carnival type scents because I'm going to try to bring that home, like those scents home. We'll do our own caramel apples here. We, I have my own cotton candy making machine, so we'll make cotton candy here. I'm going to try to learn how to make funnel cakes so we can kind of have like our own little, you know, carnival thing here and we can watch Grease or whatever. We'll figure it out, guys. The next one I bought multiples of. I bought three of these. You guys, don't judge me. <laughs> Do not judge. Uh, I bought three of these because of the shapes. The scent blend is awesome too, but mainly because of the shapes. So this is how sweet it is. Cotton candy, movie theater, popcorn, a slight hint of pretzels. And it is all these beautiful little cotton candy, small purple ones. Now at least this, um, I can put two of these bags up and then just keep one for melting. That is unfucking real. Oh. The cotton candy is like the top note in this. And then you get a bu that buttery popcorn. This smells so yum, so yum, so yum. I smell a tiny bit of the pretzel, but really it's like head over heels cotton candy popcorn. It's really, really good. Like I said, I have three of them. Then my cakes that my kiddo stole the plates and forks for. This one is in Cut My Cake Into Pieces, Carrot Cake and Cream Cheese Frosting. Beautiful label and the real deal carrot cake here. Mmm, it smells really good. I will say I wish that the carrot would have been a little more dominant in this one. You do smell the carrot cake spices and stuff. You can tell that it's carrot cake. And the cream cheese frosting... But I really wish that there would have been like a really good, strong, fresh carrot pulp scent to this. I really love when carrot cakes are not super heavy on the spice and they're really heavy on the carrot and light on the spice. But all in all, it is still a delicious scent. Then, because I already have one of these and I only have it like for display, I wanted to get one to melt. This is her chocolate fudge cake. This smells like you just went to your local bakery and had them slice you a, like a slice of some like straight tr doubly, triply chocolate fudge awesomeness. Very sweet, very real. You smell the fudge. You smell the vanilla notes in it for like the cake batter. And this just is so good and it's so real looking again. Right down to like the legit sprinkles on the cake. Now, if we baked a fudge cake in my house with chocolate frosting and sprinkles, the kids would probably use an entire container of sprinkles across the top because that's what's up. But this bad boy, I we even have it all set out. We are gonna watch Matilda when we melt this one. And I bet y'all can uh, guess why we're gonna watch Matilda when we melt that. Put it in the comments below if you know why we're going to melt that chocolate fudge cake scent uh, when we watch Matilda. The next one is called Taking the Next Step. And this says, be advised due to the nature of the way the molds are made for releasing the wax melts. It is greasy to the touch, but it does not perfect the warm. Okay, so when you warm this, the performance isn't going to be any different. But because of the type of the mold, it does feel a little bit greasier, which I don't care. <laughs> but this blend is Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, Aruba Coconut, and Hint of Lavender. This is a little bit out of my, like a lot of bit out of my comfort zone. 
but I was very curious about it because um, I've been starting to try to branch out a little bit more. And I got the, you smell lavender as soon as it opens. I got the Hope and Desire stones. So the lavender jumps out the most in that Aruba coconut. So here is the Desire stone. I don't like to touch her wax a lot until I'm melting it because I don't like it to go like squishy and messy. Oh, it doesn't say that. it's a, an honor. Was it hope? It's an honor. Awesome. I don't really get the boardwalk marshmallow clouds, which is fine by me, but I do get that lavender mm, in that Aruba coconut. So awesome. This is a very relaxing kind of beach getaway smell. Then I got two more stones, and this is an Oh Happy Day coffee bean with hint of oatmeal cookie with icing. I have so hard fell in love with this vendor. And in this one, I got a desire and a love stone. So we're going to pull those out. This smells so good. That coffee bean literally smells like fresh coffee beans. Mm, delicious. You get a tiny bit of the oatmeal cookie. Not a lot, but I'm sure when it cures, it will. But that coffee bean is like on point. Then I got some of her bubble bars. I got one in cherry slushy marshmallow fluff. Look at the coloring, you guys. So cute. So cute. Mm, that cherry slush is right there. Cherry slush. I'm not I'm not quite sure how I feel about cherry slush quite yet. I know that when this cures that marshmallow fluff will help it out a lot. As far as calming down that um, fizz that's in here. But this does smell really good. Even with the fizz. Now this one is an Aruba coconut and coconut cream pie. And I got two of these. I'm super excited. Aruba coconut and the oil coconut extreme are my favorite. Oh yum. Because they are very fresh like raw coconut scents. And I love it like raw coconut shaving. Oh, absolutely delicious. You get that sweet, creamy coconut cream pie, but the coconut in this is intense, very real, very delicious. I can tell that this one is going to be absolutely amazing. And I, this one is cured. This was poured 319. This one is cured. Um, I'll let it sit for a little while longer because I always end up doing that. I'm what we would call an unintentional curer a lot of times. But this is going to be really, really yummy on it, on, especially with the weather, how it's been real hot. Yeah. Then, of course, she sent us our cotton balls for cleaning up our messes with the wax. I ordered a big iced lemon cookie. Like, this thing is big. <laughs> There's a lot of melting in here. Oh, so good. It smells like a really yummy, crispy lemon cookie like like literally you could really you could really fuck somebody oh my god that smells so good i love that you can literally smell the crispness and the butter in the cookie mm. Mm -mm -mm. i always forget how much i love a good iced lemon cookie okay then this little cute thing right here this little thank you to go Asian food inspired container holds two cute little fortune cookies in cotton candy and bear claws. Both of them are the same. And as you guys know, her fortune cookies do come with fortunes. When I melt them or when one of my kiddos pick one of these to be melted is when I will read the actual fortune. Mm, and this just smells like a really sweetened, slight cotton candy sweetened bear claw. Her bear claw is just wow. I'm digging her bear claw. Then we have this cutie pie. Slice, slice, baby. Blackberry jam and zucchini bread. <laughs> yeah. Slice of pizza up in here. I don't want any of its neat toppings to fall off, but it's got a pepperoni and cheese and a mushroom. Oh, that smells so good. So I'm glad that this does not resemble blackberry butter jam cookie at all. Thank God. I hate that scent. Um, it's just not my thing. I know a lot of people like it and I'm 
I'm glad that you guys can, but for me, I can't do it. It's just sugary, sweet, no, no for me. But this is a really delicious, like fresh baked warm zucchini bread with a sweet yet tart blackberry jam on it. This one I could get on board with. And then I saved one of the coolest ones for last. And this comes in a big bag like this. And I got the gnome and the mushroom. Yes, I did. And then our cute little gnome friend is in Gnome Worries Be Happy Watermelon Candy and Vanilla Smoothie. And he is so stinking cute. Oh, such a delicious, like, beautiful watermelon and kiwi creaminess. This reminds me, okay, so in the summer we take watermelon and we cut it really, really thick. Like, I mean, thick. And then we slice a thin little area between the big, thick slice. And we fill that with vanilla soft serve. <coughs> and we eat it. This is what that smells like when we do it. And then our little mushroom here is Pretty Fly for a Fungi, which is sweet strawberry and hint of cotton candy frosting. So, so adorable. I did miss out on the sandwiches and a couple other things that I really wanted, but I was so stoked that I was able to get these little cutie pies. Oh, this is not that really amazing, strong, fresh pick strawberry scent. Where you get the seeds and the greenery. Um, I'm not picking up on a lot of that cotton candy frosting. It's barely in there. But that strawberry is front and center. And I love it. So that was my entire haul from Birdie's Making Sense. Super excited for you guys to eventually see my entire collections of all my wax because i was challenged to a show my stash <laughs> by the beautiful kentucky waxy girl and she also nominated for the love of sense to do that so y'all keep your eyes peeled once all my orders start coming in and i get everything all organized or at least halfway organized i will be posting that for you um, Birdie's has a pretty much her own drawer at this point, um, because, and, and then some, because her, most of her wax that I get is food shaped or fun shaped and food and fun shaped are all in one drawer and they're mostly her. So everybody, I hope you guys have a great day. Check out Birdie's Making Sense. She is really, really awesome. She has some absolutely stunning pieces of wax, very fun, decorative theme happening. Lots of fun, delicious scents. Oh my goodness, does she have the scents down? Love her stuff. So, bye. Like, share, comment, subscribe below. Also, don't forget, why would I be melting fudge cake during Matilda? Put your answers below.